Hey, everybody, welcome back. I'm Emily Moyer. This is episode number 32 of Playing the Glass Bead Game. And I am rallying from my cold because I can never miss an opportunity to play with my good buddy, Michael Wan, who just turned 50. How was your weekend, my friend? Uh, my weekend was, I, I can't even tell time anymore. I don't know if it was this weekend or what, but the last couple of days has been quite a wild ride. And I think as you know, as you know, as you know, I was the on the receiving end of a surprise party. And how was that? Uh, well, one, I've never I've never had been on the receiving end of a uh, a surprise party. Um, and I don't think I've really I, don't, I, I can't think of like maybe outside of the age eight. Have I had a birthday party for me? Mm hmm. So this was like it was very it was I, and, but I love parties. And 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 so um, I suppose you could say it was one, it was a long time coming. And then two, uh, it was like a real surprise. Like I was totally surprised by the whole thing. I didn't see it coming at all. Like uh, and it was it was a lot of fun. It was um, it was an entire an entire uh, full cycle of emotions tied to that night and then the following days. So it was it was it was just a wild time. So we were obviously we were sad that we couldn't actually be there for your party. But my inclination would be that the reason you have not received a surprise party to this point is because one wouldn't think they'd be able to pull one over on you. Right. Because of your um, tendency to sniff things out. So I think Jenny deserves super duper kudos for being able to pull it off, right? Like, I don't know if I could pull it off for you. So, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's awesome. Um, and I'm glad you enjoyed it and it was fun. And, uh, this was an interesting couple of days, I think for forever, for all of us. And you happen to turn your cycle during that as well. So probably even more interesting and potent for you. So I want to hear all about your weekend first, Michael. So, uh, so what do you mean specifically? Like everything that happened? Well, just whatever you want to tell us. You just said that this has been an interesting so, couple of so days. So it's, it's almost, it's, it's, it began, I guess I've talked about this. I've talked about this so far in a couple other platforms. So I'll, I'll speak about it here as well. But literally at the tail end of our conversation last week, which we were recording, I received an email and I received an invitation to come and present at a a 33 degree. It was sent from a third uh, someone who signed it as a 33 degree Mason and gave all the indications that um, that they were part of a lodge locally. And, you know, they gave enough personal information that I could quickly verify. At least on the surface level of everything that you can create on the Internet is accurate. Like, I think it's legit is what I'm saying. Like, I have no reason to believe it's not legit. So that began like two days before my birthday and then my birthday and then the eclipse, the surprise party, and then also a mushroom experience. So all of that, like leading, leading up. And then right before this, right before you and I spoke, um, right before you and I spoke, I reread an email that was sent to me two days before I got the 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 invitation from the Freemason. But actually, I, I, I misspoke when I just said that I did not reread it. I read it for the first time. I just didn't read it when it first came by. And it just kind of has my head spinning right now as to what's going on. Uh, one of, so, so I think probably what the, the best way of, of kind of symbolically explaining what's happening would be my birthday was on 12, two or December the 2nd. And so that spelled out as one, two, Oh, two, two, zero, one, two. That's a palindrome. Two, zero, two, one, two, zero, two, one, two, zero, two, one. Exactly. Like I, whatever it is, it's a palindrome. It goes forward and backwards, which is like in itself. Like I'm like, wow, whatever. That's an interesting thing. <clears throat> Other than the fact that you and I have made, uh, you know, quite a big deal talking about the significance of palindromes in the past, like maybe about a year ago. I think it may have been a year ago, like last December when I saw the movie Tenet and we began that palindrome sort of thing. So to have a palindrome uh, 
hanging on to a birthday or 50th birthday with an eclipse, but no point of reference. Like that's what it feels like. There's like, what's happening? You know, are we going forward, backward? Is this a meeting place? What have you? Um, the birthday itself was very interesting because um, everyone who came in person, I want to say there may have been like 15 people there, 12, 12, between 10 and 15 people, I think, were in attendance. And I know them all and they're all close to me. But um, there was a lot of secondary, there was a lot of secondary dynamics in the group, like between different people, maybe people who haven't spoken to each other in a long time, like in a year. And it wasn't just like, you know, two people had that. There was like this web of all of these different peoples. So there was kind of like this undercurrent of, of, you know, it's of everything, the excitement of a surprise party, getting together, not seeing people for a long time, and then also seeing people you weren't expecting to see. And so that just adds a layer of, to me, uh, um, an emotional, an emotional uh, uh, um, complexity to it. You know, there were, it was heightened. And then there was like some things said to me, which were very surprising, which I've never looked at before. So, and then, you know, I sat down with mushrooms and I, 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 I took a, a, a four and a half gram experience. So it was like, you know, really rich kind of, of, of experience. And so all of this sort of thing. So I'm sitting with that right now. I'm still trying to make sense of it all. Well, I'm here to help you make sense of it, right? Let's make sense of yours and then we'll make sense of mine, right?